Hi, my heart and soul family. This is Crystal. So today I'm going to teach you guys how I make the best and most delicious rice in the entire world. I have, um, it's even, honestly, it's even better than jollof rice. In my own opinion, I honestly think it is. And even I had friends taste it and they're like, this is hands down the best rice ever. So... It's just like my friend when she tasted it, she was like she she said she felt like she became Oliver Twist. <laughs> but it's the best tasting rice. Like it has so much flavor. I'll show you guys the ingredients. To me, it's easy as long as you follow the steps. It's so easy. So keep watching. I'm excited. I'm so excited to make food. So <laughs> keep watching. These are the ingredients you need. The suya spice over here. I bought two bags, as you can see, the other one is behind because for this rice, you need to be generous with suya spice. So I bought two bags and you can get this spice from any African market. It has so much flavor. If you wanna know the ingredients inside, you could just Google it, but it's so good on rice and a lot of different food and meats too. So I have the chicken cube, but it's African um, I, African market I got it from. It's called Maggie Cube. I didn't have enough, so I just went to Walmart and got this um, Goya all-purpose um, with the all-purpose seasoning. And um, then I have this one, the ground crayfish from the African store. And that's just it in the white cup of it blended. That's what it looks like. Adds so much flavor. I highly recommend the grounded, um, the grounded crayfish. And then I have carrots chopped up, onions, red onions. Then I have all colors of green pepper. <laughs> I have. Um, yellow pepper yellow bell pepper green bell pepper orange red and then i just chopped it up then i have cabbage which is washed these are all washed and then i have the green onion and green onion and i have um corn then i have salt for taste and this is habanero pepper that I have um, one and a half. I just like spicy food, but if you don't like spicy food, you could just um, take that out from it and add whatever you feel like is more comfortable for you and whatever your stomach could handle. And then you also need steak for this recipe. If you eat steak, um, I highly recommend it. But if you don't, you can add whatever you feel comfortable with. But steak is the go-to for this amazing recipe. And I'll show you the next step. This is how the steak is looking so far. So amazing. I just added suya spice on top of it, but it's so good. And um, make sure you wash your meats, guys, because I know people are like, duh, well, we you wash your meats. There's someone, um, a lady I was watching cooking, and she's like, um, she don't wash her meats because she wants the nutrients to still be there. <laughs> I was like, what? A queen is a liar. <laughs> Which means the devil's a liar in my language. Like, you gotta wash your meats because that's how you get sick. So, just make sure you're careful. And I'm gonna add this in the rice. It smells so amazing, guys. Oh my God. Come on, chop, oh. Come on, chop. It's so good, though. It's sweet, though. <laughs> Put the same suya sauce, um, well, the same suya seasoning that I use for making the steak. I just put onions, you don't want your onions to cook, and then I just put the habanero pepper. And 
I'm just gonna mix it together until it turns um, brown. And then I'm gonna add my other seasoning. These are the ingredients I added so far. All the things you saw previously, the bell pepper, corn, green onions, carrots, cabbage, and you see the onions and the pepper got brown. So I'm just gonna mix this up together and I'm gonna leave it for six minutes because I, you don't want it to be too soft you want it to still have a little bit of crunch in it but you just want it to be um just a little bit of crunch but not too soft and i'm just gonna cover this up once i mix it together i'm just gonna cover it up and leave it for six minutes Six minutes later, this is how it looks. The aroma. Oh, chine me. So good. This smells so amazing here. Oh my god. So now I'm gonna add the yellow rice, which I made earlier that I showed you guys, and um add this the yellow rice to this. And then I'm gonna show you guys the seasoning, the suya seasoning, as well as the chicken cube and um, the crayfish. These are the seasoning that I'm using. So I'm using Dash, the chicken grill and blends, the curry powder, and for the rice, this is what the rice looks like so far. So amazing and i put water i added a little bit of oil, um olive oil to it and it's still getting done as you can see obviously the water is still there so i'll show you guys the next step so you want to put this on medium heat um so i put mine on level six that's medium for me but um this is the yellow rice i made previously i just added um the curry seasoning and added um mrs Dyesh. and this is what we have so i'm just gonna stir this together and i'll add my suya spice These are all the seasonings that I have, plus the steak. And I'm just gonna mix it all up together. Remember, you wanna put this in low heat, just so it's not um, burnt. And you wanna mix it all up together. And you just want to make sure you stir it for about a good three minutes and then after that I'll show you guys the finished results but this is pretty much it from here I'm just gonna do a taste test
This is the end result with the suya steak, well seasoned, green onions, bell pepper, corn, carrots, all the seasoning. It looks so amazing and it smells so amazing. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> I just started eating before showing you guys because that's how good it was. And I honestly, I couldn't wait. I was just so hungry. But uh, this is what it looks like. Mm, so amazing. So please try this recipe. I approve. And my friends approve. So you could take it. You can make it for a party, for friends, whatever. So... Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. Click on the description link for your journey to happiness. I love you all. Later.